What's up guys, starting today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple things that I got um, probably two, three weeks ago. So if you guys didn't know, I had a K24A2 sitting at my storage unit for quite some time. Uh, I think I had it for maybe a year or two. I kind of don't remember. It was cut. Oh, I think I had it for a year. It was in storage. Um, K24A2, bone stock. It had like 150k miles or maybe less than that. Uh, I don't exactly remember, but it had a crack in the oil pan and it's just been sitting. It was a good motor. Um, I cranked it a couple times when I first got it. It felt smooth, no like grinding noises or anything. Then um, the original plan was to go K24, K20, but after sourcing parts for the K24 and thinking what I'm going to do and looking at back at some old text messages of you know all the info of the hatch because i kind of wanted to know what's all been done to the hatch before i started doing any engine work and come to find out the hatch has been the motor has been oem rebuilt uh so pretty much everything on the motor has been refreshed it's all oem and it has about 10k miles so when i got it i put in about let's just say Maybe less than 15k miles. I don't think I put more than 5k miles on it for the past two years that I've owned it. If you guys didn't know, the whole story on that is that I got the hatch for a really good deal. Uh, it had electrical issues uh, when I first got it. Uh, we wasn't sure what it was, but it'll start. It'll start once in a while. That's what it is. So it'll take. It'll either take forever to start. Or it'll start once in a while. So when I was getting the catch during that time, I was like, hmm, it could probably be like a fuel pump problem. Because he said the fuel pump will sometimes prime and sometimes won't prime. Or it'll take forever to start and stuff like that. Back to the title of this video. Just want to give you guys a little backstory on the hatch. Um, we traded the K24A2. Um, I traded it for stage three skunk two tuner cams there's skunk two tuner stage three cams um i looked it up i sent an email to skunk two to figure out to or just pretty much verify what kind of cams they were they are stage three cams and um looking up on or emailing skunk two what do i need to run these cams all they said was spring retainers uh stem seals and it's pretty much it so got those got titanium retainers then we got skunk two springs and that's pretty much it so got those in the other day i ordered it through tri-state shout out to keep gunnings uh discount code during the time saved me a lot of money i pretty much spent the same price of the springs and retainers but with just extra stuff so like i got the stems uh the valve stem seals uh i got an oil and trans magnetic plug and then I I think I just added extra stickers just because uh, I support Tri-State and what they're doing. So this is what was required for these cams when I looked it up. It's even stated in the instruction manual or whatever. So here are these. If you guys want the part number, if you guys are planning on running the same cams, there's no info on these cams online. Everybody either runs stage two, nobody runs stage three, skunk two. Um, it's probably because everybody keeps calling it junk two because after they switch um, the warehouse or whatever. Um, they still look quality to me. I mean, look at their boxes. They really stepped up their game and it looks really good. And there's some people that still rock skunk two to this day. So I don't know, but these are the magnetic uh, oil and trans plug right here you guys want to take a look at that pretty sick it comes with a little booklet with all their um parts came with a sticker as well i will probably be throwing this on into the hatch somewhere um just because i want to let everybody know i'm running skunk too you know what i'm saying but they really stepped up the game. Their boxing is really amazing. And then right here are the springs retainers right here. This is the Alpha Series. This is re required to run these cams. Uh, I'm not sure how much power I'll be making on the stock block, but 
I am full bolt on. So here are the titanium retainers right here. And then uh, we got the springs right here. That's pretty much it. So this is all the things that you need to run those cams. So I'm super hyped on that. Um, all I need now is the base map. Get these cams installed. Um, hopefully the tune is good enough to drive it around step on it a little bit and uh, until we get it to the dyno too much power we're making then I'm gonna try to film all that while that's going on just know that I'm really busy so don't expect this content to come out like ace like ASAP cuz I'm not I'm not like other YouTube content creators that has hella bread and like dump hella money to the cars and have upgrades overnight and stuff like that so just know that this this channel is gonna be like raw down to the nitty gritty of we gonna buy parts maybe once a month or every three months or maybe once every six months stuff like that is just whenever I find a good deal I'll probably hop on these parts and throw it to the hatch and upgrade from there but I'm going to end the video here. You guys will probably see this video on Monday or Tuesday. I'm going to have a scheduled so you guys will be able to see when this video comes out. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. More car content on the way. I'm super excited with these new upgrades. I hope we make some more power. Hopefully, I can feel it. I heard VTech on Skunk 2 cams are kind of crazy. So, I'm going to be the first one to test that out. And just talking about that, I realized that, man... I need to get my exhaust re uh, welded up because I'm pretty sure that exhaust been on that car for a hot minute and the welds are probably cracking or something and it's been dragging. I think it's only on like two hooks so I need to get that fixed ASAP. So hopefully you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.